Don't shout freedom to Scottish people, it's very annoying. Swamp. Mass yeah. swamp back. Mass I just think of the meme. Swamp. So, Lewis Capaldi. That's my name. You're from Scotland, correct? From, um, I'm a Scottish man. 100% Scottish beef for sure. Which I, not beef, but like, just like a, like a mince pie. I'm a 100% Scot. I'm Scottish. So since you are Scottish yourself, we're going to have you judge Scottish accents in pop culture and let us know if you think they're accurate or not accurate. Okay, okay. That, I mean, that sounds easy. I'm from Scotland. First things first. Fat bastard. Where's your sh- when I was four years old, I used to like go into parties uh, and do this impression. I used to go, look at my sexy body and like do like all the all the fat bastard shit. It's called fat bastard, no fat bastard. If he's Scottish, he's a fat bastard. If he's from England, he's a fat bastard. And also, strange in later life that I became a fat bastard. Let's watch on. I have a bigger chunks of corn in my crap. Like, I used to say that yeah, to my gran. And that, but I think Mike Myers has. Someone in his family's Scottish. It's not that bad, this accent. I mean, he's, he's playing on some stereotypes, but I mean, if you look at Fat Bastard and then you look at me, it's not too dissimilar. Get in my belly! Yeah, I like this. Do you know what else I like? He always had that little dribble of spit underneath his chin, which I'll. <laughs> yeah. So that scene came from the Mike Myers comedy Austin Powers. I recognise your shaggy. voice from the. The videos. Now, obviously, this character, Fat Bastard, is played as a joke, but still, we want to know what did you think of his accent? Accurate or not accurate? I think it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's like obviously like turned up for for comedic value. As far as Scottish accents go, it's not like the worst one I've ever heard. Sons of Scotland, I am William Wallace. Shut up. He says, Sons of Scotland. So he's put a D in Scotland. Yes, I've heard. I've heard. Kills men by the hundred. Mind you, they're from the north of Scotland, I suppose. But you've got like so many different accents, and then you go up to like Aberdeen, and they like you're know, having a sandwich. Do you know what I mean? Like the the pure talk like that, and then go to Dundee, and it's really hard to understand a lot of people. Like even for me, because they speak really fast. But this is like, I mean, it's just Mel Gibson doing a Scottish accent. Fight and you may die. Uh, Run and you'll live. Yeah. At least a while. Oh, okay. I'm dying in your bed. Okay. Come Many on. Many years from now. See, you're leaving the gap. See if I was standing at this fing battle and he was rabbing on that. Shut the fuck up. Let's just go get killed and kill some people. Do you know what I mean? Let's go flay some ass. For one chance, just one chance to come back here. It's quite rousing this speech. That they may take our lives. Oh. But they'll never take our freedom. That, see that. See freedom. See, if you see a Scottish person and you, you hear their accent, don't shout freedom, because it's f***ing lame. If you see a Scottish person and go, freedom, it's shite patter. Patter means like sh- Don't shout freedom to Scottish people, it's very annoying. That was Mel Gibson, who, perhaps not surprisingly, <laughs> is not Scottish, Got doing that. his best Scottish accent as William Wallace in the film Braveheart. Mm. I've never seen the full film. What did you think? Accurate or not accurate? I mean, there's definitely Scottish people that kind of sound like that. It's not it's not bad, but it's not like the best. I'll say not accurate just because I feel like I should at least say one accent is not accurate. I'm quite indecisive. And that film's like historically inaccurate as well. Well, Captain, the Klingons call you a, a tin-plated overbearing... He's not. Is that a Scottish accent? Oh wow! Oh fuck! I thought this was like he was speaking to somebody and they were going to do a Scottish act. Can, can we put it back? Tin plated, overbearing, swaggering dictator with. Yeah, it doesn't sound Scottish, though, does it? Is that all? No, sir. They also compared you with a Danubian slime devil. What did you see? A Danubian slime devil. F- There's nothing worse than getting compared to a Danubian slime devil. Do you know what this is, Cat? I don't have time for a lecture, Scotty. Do you know what this is? It's a warp core. It's a radioactive catastrophe waiting to happen. He's, that's quite good, though, but Simon Pegg's a good actor. And again, I think he may have Scottish in his family at some, some point. Uh, but yeah, that sounds, that's much better. Letting those torpedoes on board the Enterprise is the last straw. What it's just, yeah, it's like very... There are plenty of... It's like people's... I don't know, I don't know anybody my age that sounds like that. But like an older Scottish person might sound, might sound more like that. Do you think he got it from? He's handsome, isn't he? That's what scares Chris Pine. Chris Fine. Chris Fine, brothers, reacts. So 
those were two scenes from Star Trek. One from the original series with James Doohan, a Canadian actor playing the character of Scotty. And the second from the reboot sequel, Star Trek Into Darkness, featuring Simon Pegg, an English actor trying his hand at the accent. So was either accent accurate to you? I think the second one was pretty accurate. I mean, I definitely know people that sound like that. It kind of sounds a bit like... Uh... A bit kind of like David Tennant who played Doctor Who. What about the first guy, James Doohan? James Doohan is shit. I don't mean to disrespect you, James Doohan, but that's not a good accent, Scottish accent. Oh! Wow! This is The Simpsons, the popular TV programme. I'm not from Edinburgh. Yeah. I'm also not from Glasgow. He's definitely not from Edinburgh or Glasgow, the person doing this. He's, uh, yeah, it's not a good accent. I'm from Kirkwall in Orkney. My father was an uppie and my mother was a doony. It tore the family apart. What does that mean? <laughs> it's just not, it's just a bit like, I mean, it's a cartoon on it, so it's very over the top. I mean, listen, if you want to talk about stereotypes in The Simpsons, this is not the character you start with. Let's put it that way. Do you know what I mean? So when it comes to Groundskeeper Willie, first of all, is it accurate or not accurate and offensive or not offensive? Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say it's an accurate accent, but I'm not offended by it. I'm just glad that there's Scottish people in cartoons because it's not many. So we now have a movie clip that actually features Scottish actors and okay. we'll talk to you about why it was included a little bit more after the clip. Okay. Choose life, choose a job. Choose a career, choose a family, choose a fing big Train spotting. Yes. Watching. I've seen the film many times. It's great. Choose sitting on that couch watching mind numbing spirit. It's all great, all great stuff. Stuffing fing junk food into your mouth. I think they're little legs. <laughs> you see those shots? If I had those shots on, there'd be, there'd be problems. Choose yeah. your future, choose life. Lovely. Yeah, that's the accurate representation. As we mentioned, most of the actors in the film Train Spotting were of Scottish origin, mm -hmm. but many articles speak about how the accents were watered down in the film to make them easier to understand for a global audience. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think that's people in Edinburgh sound like that. Do you find them accurate? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, I almost said I, and then I just watered it down. <laughs> Censored. What? Oh! You've won the honour of embarking on a great and... Ogre! That's what I should have said. But this is also... F***ing... Mike Myers, isn't it? I'm already on a quest. A quest to get my swamp back. Your swamp. My swamp yeah. back. I just think of the meme. Like, all the memes of Shrek. <laughs> now, when I see this film. It's really ruined it for me. Where you dumped those fairy tale creatures. Where you dumped those fairy tale creatures. I would say creatures. You know the singer Youngblood? He says that I, see, I saw an interview with him. I've known him for a long time. He said that I sound like Shrek. I fucking, no, I don't. But now I've said that and I said, no, I don't. I feel like that kind of sounds like what Shrek would do. What kind of quest? Quest. What kind of quest? I didn't know that Shrek had a Scottish accent. I just thought that's how ogres sounded. So finally, Mike Myers yet again, this time voicing the iconic Shrek the Ogre, who we think maybe is Scottish? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. We're gonna let you be the judge. Do you think it's accurate or not accurate? I think there's parts of it that are accurate, yeah. I think, again, it's just like Fat Bastard. And Fat Bastard and Shrek mm -hmm. are the same person. I think Shrek, good guy, Good accent. What are your thoughts around the way Scottish people have been portrayed across pop culture over the years? It's fine. You know what I mean, it's an accent. Every time I get in a taxi over here, people think I'm Irish because I think there's not enough perpetuating of Scottish stereotypes in films. But Scottish people need to be stereotyped more in order to get our name out there. Just to get like raise awareness for us. Scottish people, let's really play up to these stereotypes and let's really just band together and f sort this out. So finally, Lewis, before we go, you have a four version EP that released back last year and you released your debut album this year, Divinely Uninspired, to a hellish extent. Great album name. Thanks, thank you. Is there anything you can tell us either about your EP or your album or anything else coming up that's exciting for you in your career? Listen, guys, it's Lewis Capaldi here and I'm on tour all the f time, so if you're in Australia, if you're in America, if you're in Asia, I'll probably be there at some point. Do you know what's there right now? My album, in stores, everywhere. Please buy it. Because I love making music. Do you know what I love making more than music? Money. And you can make that, you can make my dreams come true. 
get your hand in your pocket and sort me f out, okay? Thank you to FPE for having me on and doing this. It means a lot to me that I can come in and, you know, spend some time with some other people and get quite lonely. So thank you for that. And my album, Divinely Uninspired to a Hellish Extent, is out right now if you would like to purchase it. Uh, and I will be on tour, probably, at some point near you. So please come and, yeah, let me help me keep the demons at bay.